did you not get? Right, I want you to be happy, but Nicole's a married woman, one whose husband has been gone a long time, and, and all of a sudden she's taking you out for your birthday, winning you bears. Come on, be careful. Yeah, you too. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, well, Jake Tamara. Uh, it's different. Hmm, how so? <laughs> Jake and Kate aren't married, and Kate doesn't stay with a man very long. You know that. Oh, nice. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, what did Jake say when you threw out your proposal for your company? Well, Kate hated it, but Jake said he's going to think about it because he doesn't want to let go of me again. Oh, yeah? Did he actually say that? But he didn't need to. No. But, listen, I'm not going to give you advice that you're not going to listen to anyway. Besides, I got to get to work. So, buenas suerte. Well, thank you, but I am not going to need any luck. Adios. Yes. Well, Gabby has made Gabby chic into a very successful brand. Whereas Basic Black, well, produces the same kind of product, it just targets a different demographic. Yeah, and it's made a lot less money than Gabby Chic has. I already know all that. What is this wise advice you're supposed to be giving me? Resurrecting Gabby Chic, I think, would be an excellent move for the company. I agree. The problem lies with Gabby herself. What about her? Well, she has a spectacular talent for getting herself into trouble. Whereas Kate, she has a spectacular talent for making trouble. And you see where I'm going with this? So this is all about my personal life. <laughs> I care about your personal life. Unless, of course, it interferes with your stewardship of this company. But if you decide to go along with this, you may have professional success. Your personal life will be purgatory, which will lead to professional failure, which will qualify for a lose-lose proposition. The choice will be yours to make. If Gwen poisoned you, why isn't she in jail? Well, we don't really have a case against her. We only know about it because Chad heard about it from Dr. Rolf. Rolf? That ghoul? What's he got to do with this? He claims he's the one who gave Gwen the drug. Well, isn't that proof? Well, Chad went into the police station to make a statement yesterday. Sean said they might be able to charge Gwen, but unfortunately, Dr. Rolf isn't really a, a reliable witness. Well, I know the Salem PD is stretched very, very thin, looking for a carver and little jewels, but Gwen shouldn't be strutting around Salem, crying havoc. And you can tell Sean Douglas, I said that. Is this your way of avoiding stress? 